Now, it is fair to have expectations in your relationship, right? As long as those expectations are reasonable, communicated clearly, and mutually agreed upon. It's very important that these three points are clearly highlighted for those expectations to play out. Now, this is because expectations establish boundaries, they foster respect, and they promote understanding between couples. So there's nothing wrong with expectations. Back in the days, when a man is genuine, honest, dependable, and trustworthy, he instantly becomes admirable and the desire of every woman around. Those were the standards back in the days. But lately, it's all about money and lifestyle. Every other thing is secondary. Once you have money, you can give me the lifestyle I want, then everything else becomes secondary. That should not be the way because it's, it's currently affecting our generation. Okay, not our generation, this Gen Z generation. And it's even going to get worse in the future generation because all they care about right now is good looks, flamboyant lifestyle, basically money and all. That's all that matters, okay? Because the current state of expectation right now, globally, is simple. The lady expects the man to provide everything, including love, comfort, security, lifestyle, give you good shoes, a good house, cars, everything lifestyle. So the men are expected to work harder than women. Even women who have money expect their men to work hard so that they can still provide for them despite them having their own money because they'll say, my money is my money, but your money is our money. Now, those are the expectations from men. There was a content I watched the other day of some panelists. When they asked the guys, now this is what is expected from you guys. Okay, now ladies, what should we expect from you ladies? Sound-minded, educated ladies, foreigners. No, I'm not saying African. I say, oh, in Africa, they don't get sense. Okay, now, now they people not get sense, I mean, Fine, no wala. Foreigners. And what were the things they said they are bringing that the men should be expecting in return or for that relationship? They're very simple things, as you and I could always predict. Sex. One said positive vibes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> One said positive vibes. So I can't get positive vibes from my, from my brothers and my sisters or my friends. Then if sex is all you are bringing... The guy could have man as well just settle for, for prostitutes. He doesn't need to marry anybody. He doesn't need to be in a relationship. So whenever he feels like he says, just goes have sex, no commitment, pays and moves on and lives his life. If you say that is all you're bringing, then one, the one who had the boldness to say positive vibes. The other one said, well, a peace of mind and good food because he said the way to a man's heart is his belly. Please. Some of all these past uh, parables and adages, I wonder where from which part of the brain they were created from. What do you mean by way to a man's heart is his belly? I don't understand that, that principle at all. Because there are some marriages where the women, the women don't cook, the wives don't cook. They have chefs. They have chefs. So would the man automatically be in love with the chef? So those principles don't work. Sometimes some of these chefs are even ladies. You, do you ever hear that because of the good food that the chef was cooking, the man had married the chef as second wife? That was what that lady said she had to offer peace of mind. As if the peace of mind does not also affect you. You want war in your home. Are you supposed to be in a relationship and be offering the man peace of mind? Say, you know I'm giving you peace of mind though, so you should be thanking me for giving you peace of mind. Wow. It's very sad the way ladies think recently. It's very, very sad. And that narrative needs to be fixed urgently. Urgently. Alright? And it starts from the home. And then the society's expectations. Because sometimes the society drives these, these young ones into thinking stupidly. But the sad part is that they've actually carried a lot of people into their evil bandwagon that makes this young generation not think from the right side of the brain. No matter how, how educated they are, how exposed they are, they just can't help but think from a nasty point of view that makes them appear like parasites instead of comfort, instead of helper. And they help me. They believe it's their right to come and just enjoy life. You know, don't give them stress. Give them comfort. Pamper them. Be romantic. You want the guy to be all of these things. Meanwhile, what you are offering, what the man should be expecting in return, is good sex, good food, peace of mind, positive vibes, and uh, your good looks. 
so he should settle for that i want you on your own if your brother were to settle with someone else as a lady be honest with yourself and you love this brother or your son and the girl tells your son that this is all she's offering would you allow your son rather to marry such a girl be honest with yourself if the answer is no then start fixing it now from your home i'll see you again in my next video like i always say in all that getting get sense